I made this in 10 seconds, and this, and this. Is this the new AI king? And what am I referring to, you may ask? I'm referring to Claude's latest update, 3.5 Sonnet plus Artifacts. This now puts Claude on a whole new, unbelievable level. And with this update, Anthropic seems like it's now in a league of its own. Okay, so here we are in Claude, and this is where you can find 3.5 Sonnet plus Artifacts, the most important component in this new update. But first, I do want to give a quick shout out to this Twitter, I mean X profile, Min Choi, because I've been testing a lot of these examples that he's been posting, and they're all amazing. Check the links in the description for the most amazing prompts databases. So I'll put a link in my description so you can reference this for yourself as well. Okay, so right off the bat, once you're in Claude, now you do have to have a paid plan for this, but after you see this update, I think you might think to yourself, especially if if you've been on the fence about having a paid plan for Claude, now with this update, this now might just be worth it. Now, the first thing you want to make sure is that you have 3.5 Sonnet available. That's going to be their newest and latest, most intelligent model. However, from here, you need to make sure you have artifacts selected. And that's what this little button is right here. One experimental feature enabled. If I click to expand it, this is the important part. You want to make sure that you have artifacts actually turned on. And now just like that, so much magic is about to happen. So for an example, let me just first show you a very quick example of what I was able to create. We're going to start with a very simple process. Now there are so many amazing options. We'll first start with something simple and then I'll start to show you some even more impressive things that this could do. All right, so the first thing, let's just think about something that's kind of fun and a very simple prompt can do this. What we're going to do is just simply type in a very simple prompt right here. Once you do, it's gonna automatically open up artifacts. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you do have access to my mega prompts database, I have two of them with a combination of almost 8,000 prompts in total. And this one right here is my mega prompts one that's gonna be approaching 5,000 soon. It has everything from AI images, SEO prompts, content, social media, YouTube, and then my favorite prompt engineers. These will be literally prompts that generate prompts. But now my newest one is gonna be right over here and it's called code HTML. So again, if you don't have that, access to that database, do make sure you check the links in the description. Okay, once it's copied, now watch this. It really is a very simple prompt. It's as easy as this. Create a Las Vegas style slot machine using React. Hit that send button. Now watch this. Automatically, it opens up a window on the right hand side. Just wait a couple seconds. It's generating all the code. You could see it happening in real time and it is fast. Once it's done, look, it's done. Now I actually have my game. Hit that spin button and just like that, I have a awesome slot machine I could play in Claw. I can keep spinning over and over again, and you can provide as many detailed instructions as possible, and then Claude's going to do it for you. And now let me show you an even more impressive one. So again, I'm going to paste this prompt in. Very simple. I want to create an embed code I can use on my website in HTML. I really don't want to have to design a new sign-up newsletter form. Let's just let Claude do it all for us, okay? Here's my prompt. I plugged it in. It's generating the code. Now watch this. Within seconds, I'm going to have an amazing design completely pop up, and then and there it is. Okay, now let's go on to the next one. And now it's going to get even more impressive. Create a top view solar system simulation using 3.js dot, including all of the planets. Let's just go ahead and hit generate. Again, this one's going to take a little bit longer of a time because it really is incredibly detailed. There's the code. Wait maybe 10, 15 seconds max. And it's incredible how fast this is going to generate a real solar system simulation. Okay, now look how amazing this is. Just like that, here it is. Here is my solar system simulation right here on the right hand side. Now, when I did this a little bit earlier and I added a few different keywords in my prompt, now check this out. Same exact thing, but now I have a camera up here that I can adjust with these controls. By using this toggle slider, look, I can get closer. There are all the planets going around and then I can adjust the height and really get different angles. Okay, now moving on, let's try this next one now. Kind of similar, let's go ahead and create a new game. Look how easy this prompt is. Create a re React component, maze, pathfinder, boom, just like that, code, and now we're going to get our awesome memory game again on the right hand side via artifacts. Look at that. That's incredible. Find path. And the cool thing, it's all interactive. Okay. And then here we go. One more variation. Here it is right here. Again, right hand side, find path, and I can even generate a new maze. Phenomenal. Okay. So how about we try this as well? A very common game. Simple. Create a snake video game in React. Now, while that's thinking, I'm going to remind you, make sure you stick around because these next two I'm going to show you are going to really blow you away. But first, let's come back over here to Claude. You can see it's working 
on the code right here. Now let's see what this can come up with. And then just like that, look at that. There it is. Snake video game, game over. I can hit play again and then it's available for you to play. Amazing. Okay, now let's move on. I actually saw this one in the Twitter post I have in my link. Now let's just go ahead and take a screenshot of this, okay? I'm going to take a screenshot of ChatGPT 4.0 just like this, okay? Now the next thing I'll do, I'm taking that same screenshot. I'm going to click and drag it to upload it over here into Claude. Remake this website in React. Let's see how this can work. All right, there's the prompt right there. Let's go ahead and now select enter. And there is the screenshot I just took of ChatGPT. It's generating. It's going to work on the right-hand side. I'm anxiously waiting to see what the final result is going to be. Okay, and wow, I'm amazed. Look at this over here on the right-hand side. Perfectly done. I just added that screenshot, said duplicate or recreate this website in React. And then there it is right here. Just like that, it completely remade the whole entire thing. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up with two more. I have one more game one. Here is a longer prompt. It's going to be created a memory style card game create a react component for a memory card game with the following features I put in some custom features like gradient background with a mix of blues and purples and then players can click on cards to flip them in order to find matching pairs and then just like that look at this now it defaults exactly what I wanted to 60 seconds new game and then there we have it I can select new game and I have 60 seconds to make this happen I can click that first one click that second one not a match how about this one how about that one not a match okay the countdown is going and as I click on each one I have to remember exactly what my matches were okay there is a panda and then there's a panda beautiful there is a match nicely done this one and this one nope and then if it's not a match it's gonna reset and now look mouse beautiful right within that window you can interact with it in real time this is incredible how it could create this game in just a matter of seconds clicking on each individual tab in order to play this memory game once the countdown is over i lose it restarts i can input any sort of customization i want fascinating okay moving on now to our final one let's see if it could do a large data dump with a pdf file that i got from specifically tesla's q1's report i have this large Tesla Q1 2024 report. Here are all of the pages on the left hand side. There's tons of diagrams, there's infographics, etc. In fact, I think it is 31 pages long. Okay, very nice. So this is Tesla's report. Let's X out of this. Now, the next thing we're going to do in Claude, I'll come back, start a brand new chat. Now, the prompt I'm going to put in is going to be create an interactive business intelligence infographics report of this Tesla Q1 2024 update. Now, let me go back and just upload my large file here, 31 page PDF. It's thinking once it's done, let's hit that send button and see if it could actually do it. There it is. Let's go ahead and then generate. And I think this is going to be a large file. I'm going to create a timer starting now. Let's see how long it could take to do this. Unbelievable. 19 seconds. This only took 19 seconds to do this. Look at this right here. It did everything I was wanting. I have this beautiful, highly structured and organized, very clean and modern looking infographic. And then there it is, the revenue, the net income, vehicle deliveries. Wow, 386,810. Crazy. And then again, financials and operations. And now look at this. It is fully interactive. If I select financials, but if I go to operations, look. It goes back and forth, financials, operations. This is insane. And then I can scroll down, key takeaways. This is beautiful. And then remember, I can select code over here in the top right-hand corner, and it provides the whole entire code. Go back to preview. This is so incredible. So there you have it. Claude's latest update, 3.5, Sonnet with Artifacts. This is crazy good. So let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to check those links in the description. And let me know if you were able to generate anything creative as well. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Until then, we'll see you next time.